Hey everyone, it's Kelly for Soy and Shane. Thank you for joining me. Today I am packing the November mystery box and I'm going to take you along and show you what is inside this box. The first items that we're going to pop into the box is a set of three of our melt packs and these are in our Christmas fragrances that we're offering for Christmas 2018. We have our Christmas Spice which is a blend of orange, clove, cinnamon and brown sugar and smells of all things Christmas. We also have our Mistletoe and Ivy which is a really clean bright fresh fragrance with Siberian fir, vetiver, a bit of sandalwood and that Mistletoe and Ivy. And we also have Peppermint Candy Cane which is a really fun bright fragrance with the peppermint notes a little bit of blueberry, some chantilly cream and some marshmallow. The next item I'm popping into the box is one of our Artisan Bars of Soap and this one is done in Pineapple Sangria and I'll leave some links up above so you can see how this soap was made. This is the one where I made my own mould of a pineapple using some pinky sill. One of the very first products I learned to make when I went into Bath & Body was a moisturiser and this has been a part of the range for a number of years now and was always made using sweet almond oil and shea butter. We did eventually add in some avocado oil as well but there has been a real push lately that um, with the nut oil allergy, things like teachers can't wear moisturisers with nut oils in in case children are allergic, things like that. So we have actually reformulated our moisturiser to take out that sweet almond oil and to add in some extra virgin olive oil instead. So we're including a tub of our reformulated moisturiser um, cream into the box. So down here in Australia we are just coming into our summer season. We had a very dry winter and then we had this spell of lots of rain towards the end of it which brought out all those nasty little bugs. So we are including a few things to try and help combat bug season this year. We have our Eucalyptus Citriodora artisan soap and this is great if you know you are going camping or you're going to go do a day out doing some bush walking and things like that if you have a shower with this first in, thing in the morning it may help to deter some of those little nasty bugs from following you around so to try and assist even more with keeping those bugs at bay we are introducing our bugs be gone spray we will have two different blends this is the citronella blend it includes essential oils of citronella tea tree lemongrass lavender and pepper Peppermint. And for those that cannot stand the smell of citronella, we will also be doing lavender, eucalyptus and lemongrass. We will be offering this in a 100ml bottle and a 250ml bottle. So we'll pop that one in there. It is free of sulfates, parabens and DEET and is on a base of water and alcohol. Mm. If you have been out in the outdoors and you've forgotten to spray and you do have a little bug bite, we have our Bite Ease Balm. The balm is made using olive oil that's been infused with chamomile and calendula petals and has some added um, chamomile extract as well. It's also made with beeswax and some cocoa butter and includes eucalyptus and lavender essential oils and all of these ingredients are known for helping to soothe and calm irritated skin so we'll pop that one in here and then as usual we have our little leaflet which tells all about the different products in our box and there is $60 worth of value in the box this month it is now time for me to get this one wrapped up and shipped out Yeah, so I've had a few people ask me about the way in which I tie the ribbon on my boxes and I do what is called or what I was told was called a Tiffany bow. So I start off with what I want to be my tail in my right hand, right hand and place it so it's over the edge of the box. I then take the longer end and I wrap it underneath the box and come back up to the top and then I cross them over at the top and then I wrap that long end back underneath the box and as I come up and over I'm wrapping it over the top and tucking my ribbon back underneath and then the idea behind this way of tying your ribbon there's a couple of different things you can then tie your bow on the top of here and there's no knots in the packaging so the whole idea behind it and this is why I was told it was a Tiffany bow is that when you get your parcel and you pull the tags it's all meant to just fall apart like those Tiffany boxes do. 
The reason I like to tie my parcels using this style of knot is because now on the bottom of my parcel the ribbon is now all nice and flat. So I've been doing this for years because it used to drive me nuts that the Christmas presents and birthday presents wouldn't sit nice and flat on the tables and things. So when I learned how to do this style of bow I was extremely excited and plus all my gift packs now sit nicely on the on the table at markets and things like that. So if you are looking for a nice neat tidy um, bow that doesn't involve knots because let's face it most people get frustrated trying to untie their parcels when they've got lots of knots in them. This is a great way of doing it. Okay, so our November box is now all packed and ready to go out. The December box has been listed online at soyinshay.com.au and there are a couple of differences for the December box. We are, as usual, shipping out from the second Tuesday of the month, which is the 11th of December, so you can get pre-orders in up until then. And then after that, we are opening orders for the box up until the 18th of December. And this is so that we can make sure that we can get parcels sent out to you um, and you get them before Christmas. Now, if you are on the west coast of Australia or down in any of the southern states, so that's including South Australia, Victoria or Tasmania, uh, it will take a week to get to you from where I am. So if you are wanting to get a box before Christmas, I would highly recommend getting your orders in by the 15th of December so we can get them shipped out by the 17th and hopefully get it to you before that next week. So I hope you have enjoyed watching what goes into the November mystery box. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you've got any questions, I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. For all of you that are international, we will have the mystery box available to you next year to be able to ship that out to you internationally as well. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a good one. Bye.